everyone. Welcome to another episode of Jenna and Maddie's Coffee Break, where we talk about our favorite anime characters and what kind of coffee we think they would order. I'm Maddie. I'm Jenna. And this time around, we are going to be talking about Atsushi and Octagawa from Bungo Stray Dogs. Yes. Um, who do you want to start with today? Um, well, I think we have to go with my sweet, sweet baby boy, Atsushi. My sweet sunshine oh. weird tiger boy. Ah, yes. And see, you said sweet boy, and I was like, Octagawa, clearly. I mean, um, <laughs> both are sweet, sweet boys, but Atsushi is like the definition of sunshine boy. He's in the category of sunshine boy. He is. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he is a sweet coffee drinker. For sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he absolutely. He definitely probably like never had coffee until he joined the armed detective agency because he was in like the world's worst orphanage. Yeah. yeah. They're like, instead of coffee, you're going to get beaten. And he was like, <laughs> Mm-hmm. So I feel like now, since the Arbor Detective Agency has like the built-in cafe downstairs, a little diner cafe, he's like, "Right, what is this? Ooh, yeah, treats, absolutely, <laughs> yes, yeah." And he he likes it sweet, so he'll order, you know, his whatever like French vanilla with extra this and that. Um, but I feel like for a long time, he had someone order for him uh, because it got a little too complicated and he couldn't remember what he liked. Um. <laughs> but like the problem there, therein lies, you know, who's going to order. If it's Dazai ordering for him, it's going to be off the wall. Like, you I, know. I don't I, I don't think he would trust Dazai to order for him. I think it's more like Kunikita remembers or Yosuno remembers or Kyoka, you know, like they're the ones who he would trust to order for him. Yes. Um, but then if he got his if they got his order wrong, I don't think he would correct them. Oh no. No, no. I feel like because... yeah, I feel like he he in my head canon has social anxiety even though he really doesn't <laughs> like in in the canon. <laughs> I think like he's really good at talking with people and clearly with his fights with Octagawa, he has no problem with confrontation, but I think this is a little different ordering coffee, especially like, let's say Atsushi goes to a Starbucks, right? Or something like that. Fancy, fancy, super sweet coffee is expensive. Like right. it starts to rack up. So if it's wrong, this, you know, this kid who well, he's not a kid, but like, Someone who's used to being poor his whole life is not going to say, hey, my $7 drink is wrong. Like, Right. He's, he's a penny think- pincher. He's a penny pincher because, you know, he's had nothing and he clearly yeah. cuts his own hair. So we know he doesn't pay to get his hair cut. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that we can all universally agree that he either cuts his own hair or lets someone just have a pair of scissors and go to town. Um, Absolutely. So uh, yeah, I feel like, but he's like so sweet that he's probably a little nervous to correct somebody if they give him a drink. And that was that's when you know you'll have the Kunikita step in or or um, not Dazai because Dazai is useless, but you know <laughs> Kyoka. Like, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Kyoka would um, absolutely correct for him or be like, you're allowed to say that this is wrong. Like, she would be like, just tell them it's wrong. It's it's fine. She would be trying and to teach, like, him. Oh, no. <laughs> teach him how to speak up for himself. Come on. Right, exactly. Yes, yeah. Um, and then, like, I also feel like he would change it up a little bit, too. Like, a friend of mine was saying that they see Atsushi as, like, a sweet like matcha latte drinker um but that goes right along with like wanting stuff to be super sweet right yeah you know? i i can see that even if they're if the drinks are not necessarily like coffee but you know a specialty drink or a specialty tea whatever you can get at a coffee shop mm-hmm. he definitely sticks to the sweetness um because i feel like like he is still he's still a kid he missed out on you know being a kid in a candy shop right. basically so this is his his right. childhood coming back he's like oh sweets <laughs> yeah and he he likes the seasonal ones yes um you know the, the the but like the frap versions like the frozen 
like whipped cream on whipped cream you know the big giant ones like he gets really excited when that caramel ribbon crunches out like he's he's so excited about it oh my do you think that it affects his wear tiger form do you think the tiger is like ah crap like (laughs) (laughs) i'm super (laughs) caffeinated now I I don't think so. I think if anything, he can tolerate the caffeine and the sweetness because he has the wear tiger form. Yes. Um, the wear tiger is like, like I just want dairy because I'm a cat, so I wanna like have some whipped cream and milk. <laughs> Even though he is the wear tiger, you know what I'm saying? He he has that he wants that dairy, that milk because he's a cat. Right. That's so funny. I didn't even think of that. That didn't even cross my mind. Yeah, that he likes the whipped cream, the whole milk. Right. You know, no skim milk. We want all. We want all the flavor of the milk for the cat. <laughs> right. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 yeah that just, they just leave a and bowl of milk out for us to shake. I feel like he would be offended by that because he has said time and time again that he's not a cat. He's a tiger. Like in Juan, I feel like he's like I'm a tiger. You know, like. I feel like he would be offended if they did that, but I feel like that would be something Octagawa would do mm, to him. Mm-hmm. Like he would pay the barista to leave like a dish of milk right. just to piss off Atsushi. Right. Um, like this is because Atsushi's Octagawa. like, this isn't what I ordered and it's just a bowl of milk. And he's like, that's courtesy of your friend over there. And he looks back and it's <laughs> Octagawa. <laughs> With the sunglasses on, and he just walks out. It's like it's like CSI Miami. He puts his glasses on and walks away. And see, I I get those vibes, but I also feel like if Atsushi and Octagawa were in the same cafe at the same time, and Atsushi got like got the wrong order, Octagawa would like bust out Rashomon <laughs> and be like excuse me you got the word to not even excuse me i don't even think you beat well i feel like Octagawa is polite even though he's violent like i feel like he, he would be like you fool like <laughs> he wouldn't say excuse me i don't think i don't think he'd say i'm sorry i think he would be like immediately fix your no. mistake please yeah, he'd be like, he'd like use Rashomon to grab Atsushi's coffee from him and like slam it in front of the barista and be like, you got this wrong. Right. Like, this is not correct. You are going to rectify this mistake. And right. Atsushi's in the background. Like, like, oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. I'll drink it. It's not a big deal. You don't need to cause a scene. And Octagon was like, nonsense. You, It was wrong. Like, they need to do what you asked. Like, Right. Especially because you, in, in the Wan canon, at least, he is very, um, very aware of what other people want. You know, when you see him shopping for Dazai, <laughs> he's very hyper aware of what would this person who I'm shopping for want? So he's thoughtful. Right. Yeah. He is when he wants to be. When he wants to be. Right. It depends on what kind of mood he's in that day. If he wakes up and he's like, right. maybe I'll be nice today. Or if he wakes up and he's like, mm. Well, I feel like if it's in these six months where he's not allowed to kill people... <laughs> Then he's absolutely gonna be nice. Like he he's gonna he's gonna be nice about it. See, so. either, see, I think he either is gonna be nice because he's trying not to murder people, or he's gonna be really grumpy because he can't murder people. So it's like <laughs> it's like one or the other. Is he's really his pent up frustration because he hasn't murdered someone in like three months. So he's like <laughs> he needs his coffee, and he's like, get my coffee see, right. That's- that's the perfect segue into Octagawa's order. Oh, yeah. Because he is a no nonsense guy. Like, he doesn't understand why beverages need to be complicated. Right. Like, that's the feeling that I get. Like, it's very, I'll just order a large black coffee. Like, it doesn't need anything else. Or like an Earl Grey tea. Right. If he doesn't want coffee, you know. Something classic, like, simple. Exactly. Like, Chuya's next to him ordering. Some like rattling off this really long, complicated order. It's like that audio, like that scene on TikTok where it's like, I'll have a mocha caramel. That, that's right? true. Like, listen to all the things that Chuya wants. And he's like, What do you want? And Octagon was like, Just coffee. I don't know. Put I, it in a I cup. I, I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as I can drink it, like it, I, coffee, that it'll wake me up and it'll be fine. Like, I don't. Yeah, I, I can see that. I always, though, for some reason, picture him, like, I don't know if it's because he has the Rashomon, so in my head, 
his coffee he drinks is like dark, deep sludge, kind of like his tendrils. <laughs> <of Shaman. laughs> See, I I don't think I don't think he wants sludge. I think he has sophisticated taste. Like he wants good coffee, but he doesn't need it to be Atsushi sweet. You know right. what I mean? Like he doesn't he doesn't need the vanilla creamer. Although I do think, and I talked to another friend about this too, is I think that Octagawa will secretly sweeten his coffee. Like when he gets back to the Port Mafia building, a little bit. You're like. He'll add like the little, you know, like when you go to like hotels or restaurants, they have the little like sweet cream pouches, right? He adds like one or two in there and mixes it up. You and one time, Atsushi, right, one time Atsushi walked in and he was pouring the little tiny bits of sweet cream creamer. And on threat of death, Octagon was like, you will tell no one. <laughs> the, only one knows, Atsushi, the only one who knows is Gein. She's the only one who knows. Right. His sister would know. Yeah, absolutely. But other than that, like... No one knows. Not even Chuya. No. Not even Chuya. Mori doesn't know. Dazai doesn't know. Like, it's just his little secret with his sister. And then the one time Atsushi saw him doing it, and he's like... He blames it on Gein. Oh. This isn't my coffee. This is actually my sister. This is my sister. <laughs> Atsushi's like, mm, mm-hmm, <laughs> sure. While Gein is already holding her cup of coffee, and Octagon was trying to pass the blame, he's like... <laughs> this isn't mine. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like a very, very bad liar for being for like being in the port mafia and this like mafioso like threatening character. He's just like the worst liar ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I feel like this is a one episode waiting to happen. Like they're ordering their coffee right. and like you know, Octagawa wants to taste Dazai's coffee, so it's not, like, too hot for him, right? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like the court jester tasting the king's food to make sure they don't die from poison. Only Dazai, only Dazai, but that's because there's that one episode where he, like, wants to eat the food so Dazai's shirt doesn't get dirty. Right, right. He's always and... he's always trying to make sure that that Dazai's taken care of first. So he would definitely taste Dazai's coffee and then be like, what the hell is this? It's like, it like gives him cavities instantly. <laughs> right. Yeah. But he would, yeah, like, he would also, I think that Octagawa would choose, um, if he's not drinking it black, he would pick oat milk because it's better for the environment. And we know that in the one episode, you know, he's taking care of the ants and he's like planting things. Like he's being so good at environmentally, um conscious so he would feel like i'll have some oat milk well and i feel like that works too because he's sick oh so like oat milk oat milk is you know might be better for his body in general um i don't know if the, your dairy choices affect your lung diseases. I I, I don't I, mean, I don't know. I'm not a licensed um, uh, you know doctor, so I can't talk I, on that. I, I'm not a doctor. I just play one on TV. It's true. It's true. Um, <laughs> tea might. Okay, so coffee does actually um, help expand your um, bron- bronchia because your airways it helps the caffeine helps expand your airways so maybe it would that's true so maybe he would stop he maybe he would cough less if he's drinking his coffee <laughs> if he's drinking coffee you know like i don't know maybe yeah or just in the morning like in the morning his cough isn't as bad when he has his coffee right it's only um, if he tastes if he tastes like accidentally tastes Dazai's eyes and he's like coughing because it's too sweet and he's dying because it's Right. Or like his and Atsushi's drinks get mixed up. Like they order at the same time and like Atsushi accidentally grabs Octagawa's and Atsushi takes or Octagawa takes a sip of Atsushi's super sweetened with like the the caramel, you know, that sits at the bottom and that's like the first thing you get like through the straw. Syrup. Like it's, it's just, yeah, the syrup. And that's, that would cause Octagawa to cough horribly because he finds it disgusting. Right. Um, or he's just shocked by how sweet his coffee is and he starts to get mad at the barista because they got his drink wrong when in reality it was Atsushi's. Right. Um, and Atsushi's like, wait, don't murder the barista. <laughs> <laughs> Stop and let's just trade. Yeah, he's or I'll buy you a new one. Instantly murderous. Instantly. You get the, I mean, I get it because if my coffee is wrong, I'm also going to feel instantly murderous. It ruins your whole day. <laughs> instantly it ruin it does it will ruin your whole day if you like you ever do you ever like go and you're all excited for your coffee and you get it and then you like get back in the car and it spills everywhere or you oh, taste it no. and it's not the right way and it's just like 
yeah. there goes my that day. That is the worst. That would be that is the worst. That would be Octagawa. Right. He wouldn't spill it though. I feel like he's he's not he's not clumsy. Like no. if he if it slips from his hand, he's got Rashomon right. to like catch it for him. Uh but I don't know, I can just imagine him yelling, Rashomon in the middle of like a cafe. <laughs> what is coffee? He has, has like, he has his Rashomon is holding cups. They're all holding cups. It's like Oh yeah, like, oh, like they send Octagawa on the coffee run. And so <laughs> bags and Juan when he has all the bags. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So he like she like calls out Rashomon and he's got eight cups of coffee in his hands. You know who would know his coffee order though? Uh Higuchi would know his coffee order. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. She would have yeah. it memorized. She would have the it programmed in her phone. Like she is ready to go with his coffee order. <laughs> it's like it's like when you when you have the Starbucks app and you can add your favorite drinks to Siri and just be like, you know, hey, order whatever. Like it's not even her drink. No. Like she's, she's not even drinking, probably. Him. She probably doesn't even go to Starbucks. It's just it's just for him. It's just for him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I love that. It's that. That's really in character. That is canon. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I, I just love the image of Octagawa drinking black coffee, like the dark kind of bitter coffee, whereas Atsushi is drinking the sweet, lighter coffee because it like goes along with their personalities as well. Like Octagawa is the you know bitter. Dark, bitter exactly bitter character and he has that little bit of good in him right so he likes the little tiny bit of secret sweetness right right um and then you have atsushi who's just bubbly happy trying to be optimistic you know but he has the you know the sweet the super sweet coffee right he's he's the bubbly sunshine boy right because like every time like atsushi helps ends up helping Octagawa. Octagawa takes a beat to realize that he's being helped and he doesn't like it. Right. And I feel like that like goes along like with his coffee. He's like, oh yeah, this is sweet. Oh no, someone caught me drinking it. Nope, I don't like this. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like the I... cup at them. <laughs> <laughs> or he just dumps it out next to him. He's like the, that wasn't that wasn't my just I stares don't... him in the eye while dumping the coffee out. <laughs> And so she's like, but that's such a waste. No, I would have, I would have drank it. Oh no, I would have, I would have, I would have taken it off your hands. Atsushi, let's face it though, like going back to Atsushi's coffee order, I feel like in order to get through his day with Dazai, he needs espresso. Yes, like caffeine. He he, he needs the like. With the were tiger, he probably metabolizes things a lot quicker than a normal person would, but that's why he needs the extra caffeine, right? And especially to like with Dazai. that, and also like constantly getting his leg chopped off. He's probably like, <laughs> leg. he's probably like, you know what? <sighs> this has been a day. <laughs> I need. <laughs> It's always his leg, too. Always. Always his leg. Oh, the poor, poor baby. He never catches a break. Never, ever. With and it's always it's always his leg. Octagawa, Nikolai, um Hawthorne, yeah. like all of them. He all just, it's always they just don't he's like, you don't need a leg. Who needs a leg? Right. <laughs> yeah, so he definitely needs the shots of espresso. I don't think Octagawa needs extra caffeine. No. He's got a pretty chill. Ball. Well, Mori's not chill, but like he's not Dazai. He's not chaotic. He's not Dazai. He's not under Dazai's, you know, tutelage anymore. And even Ch um, Chi is pretty, pretty. Chi is chill. Yeah, for the most comparatively, part. Comparatively, compared to Dazai, we can say these characters are chill. Um, right. Chi just has <laughs> Chi just has like the anger issues that he's got to work through, but like Dazai's insane. Right. Like, <laughs> it's chaotic. Yeah. So I I don't feel like Octagawa would need the extra strength espresso no. shots um but because Atsushi if anything for sure Atsushi definitely needs it absolutely now do you think the caffeine we already like talked about the caffeine for Octagawa could potentially open up his airways but how do you think it would affect his ability because we talked about Atsushi and the caffeine with his ability do you think it would affect Rashomon or not because it's his clothes 
that's true. It is his clothes, so it's not really a manifestation of his body. So it's right. different than the wear tiger because Atsushi is the tiger, you know? Right. I don't think it would affect it. This is in, in my yeah. lore, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree. No, I, I agree. Yeah. I feel like everything we say here is fact. So this is of course. Just kidding. Of course. Uh, <laughs> all of our thoughts of their coffee orders are canon, okay, guys? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Put a little disclaimer at the bottom. That, that was not I'm kidding. kidding. <laughs> I am kidding. She's not kidding. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, and like Octagawa and Atsushi are still young. So, so like, about that. Atsu- like Atsushi doesn't have to worry about his having like stomach issues or, you know, that sort of a thing. Um, Octagawa can stand to treat himself once in a while, especially because he's like been dying his whole life right, right you know like no one's gonna he thinks everyone's gonna judge him if he orders sweet coffee but no one no one cares he's in his own but head he's very self-conscious he's, he, yeah but at the same time like again i don't think that he you know coffee like beverages don't need to be complicated like just give drink the coffee give me a cup of coffee right? and i'm good to go Right, but once in a while, it's that secret sweetness. Maybe when Chuya's having a really bad day. <laughs> I can't <laughs> That's when Octagawa, Octagawa needs the little extra sweetness because he's like... He's like, Chuya is on the ceiling right now, literally, and I cannot <laughs> deal with this, so... No, I'm gonna right. Step outside, I'm going to put a little shot of vanilla cream in this and <laughs> call it a day. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And it's like, he, even if he has like this much coffee left, he's still going to put like the packet of cream in it because he's, he needs he's, it. He's had enough. Yeah. He deserves it. He does deserve poor it. Poor baby. Boy, sweet boy. We, we hit, we hit everything. Yeah. Um, so I think that'll, that'll wrap up this episode of our coffee break. Um, be sure to follow Temple of Geek for lots of other anime stuff um, and hang out with us for more unhinged ramblings. So we'll see you next time. See you next time. Mm-hmm.